Gaming, back to back with more Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Now we're gonna start from where we left off right now, but before we keep before we continue on, I really want to show you what I just got. It just refunded the money. It was from eBay, and, and look what I got. These two right here. Oh my god, I got Godzilla and these mini monsters. Got Godzilla and Warband, known as Nozaki. Those are from the movie Godzilla vs. Kong, but if you see the back of each one of them, that's probably from China or Taiwan. But yeah, though those just came in today. Holy shit, I... Oh, 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 oh. Thank you so much, oh my god. Also includes with the other mini monsters, such as Behemoth, Skullcrawler, Mechagodzilla, and Kong. Never got the rest of those four mini monsters yet, but I, but I do got the Nozuki, which means Warband in Japanese, and Godzilla too, which means it's Gojira, Gojira. So I'm gonna put those right here. After I finish the episode, I will open them. So, uh, specifically, so let's get right into it. Then back to where we left off right now. Hint, you can skip button. You can use the skip button to fast forward through the text you've already read. All right. So I think I've already read the rest of them. So let's continue. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to, uh, to theirs. It, it, is, this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that that's what I end up, ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sari and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Asuki. Uh, okay, they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As I read a tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Asuki's eyes furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh, uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Asuki dis dis dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How, how can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Ah, uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thank, thanks, but but it really didn't come out uh, nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it, and Hunter did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, uh, which I haven't yet. Yeah. And Hunter liked my poem, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Maski suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... Ugh. You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just je jealous that Hunter appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? A and how do you know he, he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No? If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make every everything I do over like cutest cutesy. Ugh. Um... Is everyone, everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Hunter started, started showing off. What? Natsuki? Oh, uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Hunter? She is she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the paper, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Hunter. Wait, what? Wait? There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. 
avoiding them is not is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Hunter? Um, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... Okay, now I chose the, the other options last time. But I want to know is... I'm probably what I know is if I go with healthy salary. Nasky, Nasky glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori? Uh, yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How how can the two of you keep fighting when you when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Hunter? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to I interject with their own feelings into the conflict. Yeah, unless Sari wants to tell Yuri the, uh, what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Uh, she, would, she would never. It's your imagery uh, that, that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? Then this is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! <sighs> Nasuki. Yuri! You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Nasuki's poems. The... Oh my god, I think this soundtrack I never heard yet. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. But so why are we fighting? Because, well, also Nasuki is cute and, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's moves are the same as, as they always were. Big and beautiful. Whoa, Jesus! Sayuri, why? <laughs> Fuck! Sayuri says, Sayuri stands up uh, uh, triumphantly. Monica stands behind her uh, uh, with a bewildered, bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Nasuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayuri is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come up as a good leader, and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. And I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that that, that, that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Uh, you could say that. She might be in an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her, uh, get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Hunter, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from, from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little, a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod at myself with newfound determination. Hunter, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams on me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, uh, but what happened earlier? Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Asuki... Doesn't that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen a fight like that. I promise. They're both wonderful people. You, you, you don't. You don't hate them, do you? 
No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. You know, Hunter, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone else is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. It, it looks like Sari still hasn't caught on to the, the kind of a situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well, just just to see well, what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that I'm more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, now it's supposed to... Uh, this is gonna be something. So I might be able to save it. So right here. Oh, that's different! You see those dots right there? That, that, okay. 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 Okay, so, uh, apparently it's... Dream... Clumsy... Oh, it's for... Okay, so then this is for... Uh, Sayori. Okay. Fantasy. Okay. Right drop says so for Yuri. Doki Doki, what the fuck is that there? Oh, it's for Oh Naski, sure. Okay, so we got the flower. Explode. Okay, so this is something. Okay, lollipop. Okay. Bunny! Yeah, that, that, that's what I saw Rich Grimm doing that, and that, that bunny is for Rasky. Let me save it just in case if I just make that for, for Nasky. Okay, so Rainbow for Sayori. Okay, that's for Nasky. Enjoy. Okay, got awesome. Okay. Okay, now, now this is mostly for Sayori, right? Because I think I think it's against Natsuki and Sayori this time. This is actually cool. Actually cool. Shopping? Yes, okay, okay. Laugh. Beauty. Okay, okay, I think, I think mostly who won was Sayori. What the frick? Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little, a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Hunter. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being uh, in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get to get you in the good mood. But I guess it's always a simple thing with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Ah, it's not like you at all. I have my, my reasons. Why don't we why don't we take a look at at, at your purse, Sayori? Eh. Why is that? All of a sudden. No reason really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah! Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with, with the latch and gets it open. Then she she turns it upside down and and lets its contents spill into the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right 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 through you, Sari. That's not fair. Oh, and your your mouth too. Your, uh, your entire face. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted it. And wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to co co conveniently, conveniently forget that, that you spent all your money, so that, that would let you some. Uh, but there's one more thing you're always hungry, and so that uh, that only leaves uh, the, the one option. Ah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. 
If you feel guilty, that, that means you deserve to, to feel guilty. Ha <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Ah, I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah, oh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was, it was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Hunter to let me borrow some money. That's, don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can only, uh, uh, can responsibly afford. And frankly, after putting in a mischievous little stun like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, oh, did I just, it didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Ah, oh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fine side of you. That's, there's no way you could think that. Uh, you were right, though. It is something bad, and I had to accept the rev revolution, retribution, that's still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> uh, don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come, come if, it, if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on! Get, oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Uh, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Okay. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. That's a cookie. What? Yeah. Ow. What was... Uh, cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Asuki, that, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sari hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sari... Sayori rapid, rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Okay, Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> uh, you're going you're going through a lot, just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, your yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers! But yours is chocolate, yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sari gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. Look at that sexy moment right there. What the frick? I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up and to nudge Sari out of her. Um, uh, Sari suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? What the fuck? Your face, Natsuki! <laughs> My full Sari trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, he's such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sari? Eh. Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh! Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Mm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course. She's, uh, of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's probably, uh, she's pretty popular after all. Eh, you don't think she, she has a, ha ha ha. I wouldn't be surprised. She probably, uh, more desi, she's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, uh, ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh, Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. A boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period was a study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that, that, makes so, that, that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it, since I was practicing piano. Piano? 
I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once, once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I, I, I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I wouldn't let you down, Hunter. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing the whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose to leave out Sayuri's mischievous and scap at it. I'm sure you, Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayuri somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hunter, Hunter! Sayuri suddenly comes up to me. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were we're gonna make some posters and stuff. So I needed to go go find some crayons and, and markers and, and glue sticks. <laughs> I see. Oh sure, sure I'll go with you. Yay! Monica, uh, okay Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are are you going with Hunter to get the, the supplies? There, there's no need to trouble yourself. Uh, I'd be happy to go with him. Oh, uh, but I wanted to go. It, it's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. I just wanted a suggestion. To see if you can find poster paper, too, okay? Okay. Ready, Hunter? Yep, let's go. Sari and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sari hubs and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking the kid to the mall or something. Sari finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sari, what exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you could make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. It, don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. Uh, we're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Hunter, you're, you're not thinking about it right away at, at all. So it's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, bring it from, the clinching, from its clinching roots. Never seen the final joyous moment between my fingers, but but to what ends I have summoned this joy. For now, when I look in every direction, the, the once prosperous field before me, uh, but it's barren way, but it is a is but a barren wasteland. Like that, Sari. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you when you talk like that. Eh, you meanie. What the fuck? I'm working super hard on this, you know? Ah, I know, I know. I just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to, to, to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sari spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Hunter, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sari like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself in my, up in my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sari brings about the special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the classroom. Sayuri heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Grants? Okay, so this is probably the saddest scene. It's not gonna make me cry. But it did, it made me cry like two times. So let's not have it on the third time, everyone. Sayuri pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. This, uh, they're the best brand, too. They, they're kind of dirty, though. Sayuri starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. 
All right, that's one now. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Ah! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! Sari bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? My forehead. Sari clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sari. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Sari, uh, since Sari is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. Y you have to move your hand, Sari, but it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh. Sari slowly releases her hands from, from her forehead. I gently brush her face to the side. Ow! Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A buff is starting to form as well. A man is gonna... Man, that's gonna swell up. I should fi find you some ice. Hunter? Uh, where, uh, where would I even find some ice around this time? Ah, uh, I guess I could think... Uh, okay. Alright. I guess I could drink... I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a, looking like a unicorn. And even wincing from the pain, Sari makes a silly joke. <laughs> what, what were you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pat Sari on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter since it will be used as an ice pack rather than a drink. But I know Sari likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already the, in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori here. I had Sayori the bottle of uh, apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, oh, sorry I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sari places a bottle against the buff of her uh, on her head. It stinks. Just bear with it. it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that that's good. Oh no, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry, okay? This is the saddest scene I've ever seen. Hey, Hunter. It, it, this kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Uh, what do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. Uh, you were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I try to do things I couldn't, I, I would get myself hurt. But I'd fall and scrub myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and, and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if, if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough to attention to you. So in, so in a way, it was my fault. Kind of, Kind of like this time too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Hunter, I didn't think you realized it, but, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years, you're rushing to help me, even, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. And I don't, don't really do this kind of thing uh, all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when, you, when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Hunter, I'm so glad that nothing, nothing changed between us. Do you think it'll be uh, like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling uh, where, where we'll each end up for college or, or after that. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises, but... Well, I hope so. It's been it's been this long already, right? 
I can imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sari has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that, that, that when I see her deep in, in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. My eyes, my tears started to run down my eyes a little. But not down my eyes, like right there. Still, this scene makes me so sad, makes me want to cry. I just don't want to cry, okay? Uh, I'm just so sad, okay? Just makes me so sad. This scene right there, I know it makes me sad too, and very shocking. Due to my emotions. Sari hops to her feet. Ah! And she clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Sari out of the classroom. Sari plays with her bangs to try to hide in the bunk without, uh, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Ah, you're back. Good timing. We're just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Ah, Sari, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shell. Well, anyway, were you able, were you able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh, I have it, right? Eh, Sari frantically glances around herself. Uh, I forgot all of, uh, all of the stuff. Calm down, Sari. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Hunter. Ah, oh, well, Sari... I failed to come up with an excuse for Sari. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to show your poems? Yes, I should grab mine. After making sure the crane box is closed tightly, I, re uh, I return to my seat. So basically... Most, so, Sari wins the poem contest that, that I'm actually picking the words. So I'm actually just going to say right now. Okay, okay, there. Now, now it's just save. Go right here and just save it. So, there we go. So, um, I might continue on next time. So, well, oh my god, wow, it actually knows the time. Okay, so basically, thank you all so much for watching, and I still do have these things. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to open one of them. So, I'll start with Godzilla then, if I can get, get that to open. Okay, yeah, I'm opening like that. What the fuck? Okay, so we got Godzilla here. Oh my god, wow, this smells plastic? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, you see that? Yeah, I got Godzilla right here. Also, I got the Nosuke, the, the Warbats. Okay, so... Alright! Uh, oh my god, wow! It just comes out. What the fuck? It, there's a stand right there. Oh my god! What the fuck? Hold on a second. I think I, 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 think I dropped the... Stand for the the war bat. Well, where is it? That's not it. What the fuck is that? Hold on, I'm trying to look for the for the the stand. I think it's. Holy shit! Oh, did it die? Oh, there we go. I found it. See, that's the stand. That's the stand for. Warbats, yeah, okay. Okay. Jesus, yeah, that's a stand. I did not even notice it has a stand for the Warbats. Holy shit, what the fuck? It can't stand without this fucking stand, what the frick? Alright, so if you didn't notice, it comes from China or Taiwan. It's gonna be far away after you order them. 
or what? Because I haven't got like a Godzilla, Behemoth, or Kong, or Skull Crawler. These mini monsters yet. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it burns. But. So, for right now, I got these things. Godzilla and Nozaki. So, I'm pretty sure that that's a really good side right now. Thank you, my mom, for giving me that. I did not even notice that we were funding the money and it was actually free. Imagine that for Kong, Mechagodzilla, Behemoth, and Skullcrawler next time. But yeah, as yeah, of for right now, thank you so much for watching. I'm pretty sure if I do exit, I'm pretty sure it has new stuff. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saved the game right there. So, you see it right now. So, the next time I do this episode, I might get to just share the poem with uh, Sayori. Because uh, the, 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 the most of it, Sayori just wins. Because when you, when, when you chose the word that someone likes, one can actually jump, which is the favorite word. So, okay. So, I'm pretty sure we have the side stories here. We have understanding. I will get to that pretty soon. That's for Sari, so I've actually unlocked that. Leave a like if you want me to do another episode of the side story right here. So, specifically, we have the other pictures to look at and music too. So, what we have here is these. Look at that. Looks so fucking amazing. That's a big cookie right there. What the frick? You're mine. Wow, it's Monica. You're mine? What the fuck? So, we got Natsuki and Yuri re reading each, uh, re each of their poems. So if we go down, not sure that anyone just... Okay, th there's one right here. <sighs> that just made me sad before. What the fuck? So, anyway. Oh, there's one! Yay! Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, a concept sketch of the complete cast drawn by Kagafumi. That's, that is a very good fan art. Oh, the other one here. Oh my god, it's... Sayori! Holy shit, David Evelyn! Oh my god, I love that sketch. Holy shit. So, okay, so that's it right now. We go to the music here. Okay, so where's, uh, Zai Shabu? Zai Shabu. Ohio. Sayori. Oh my god, poem panic. Oh, wait, that, that's about the fighting! Yeah, and it's about the fighting right there! Holy shit! What the fuck am I making me down right now?! My song, your note. What about that? Oh my god, that is, that is actually cool. Alright, so anyway, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching, holy shit. Oh crap, I forgot that the music was still on if I just exit out. A Daijobu. Okay, anyway, holy shit. What the fuck was that about? Alright, so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Leave a like if you want me to do another episode of the side stories. Which is actually for Sari if you unlocked it. I knew that one was fucking coming. So anyway, if you like it, make sure you drop the like button. Stay 100% cooler. Be ready for the real action. So as always, I will see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone.